Let's face it guys. Most men think they know what turns women on, but the reality is they're operating on autopilot, stuck in outdated and shallow patterns of thinking about female sexuality. Women are complex beings, and if you think their desire is as straightforward as yours, you're already missing the point. This is a tough pill to swallow for some, but if you want to up your game, you need to dive deep into female psychology and understand what truly sparks attraction. You clicked on this because you're ready to get serious about improving your success with women. But be warned, this isn't for the faint-hearted. I'm here to challenge you, push your buttons and maybe even piss you off a little, but all in the name of helping you grow. Let's get one thing clear. Women are not turned on by desperation, neediness or fake confidence. They are turned on by men who exude real strength, strength of mind, character and self-awareness. If you're ready to ditch the excuses and step up, read on. The core of female desire. Emotion, not logic. Women aren't like men when it comes to arousal. For most guys, physical attraction is the primary trigger for desire. But for women it's not that simple. Female sexual desire is tied to emotion and psychological engagement. A woman's mind is the gateway to her body, and unless you know how to tap into her emotions, you're not going to get anywhere. This means your game has to go beyond surface-level tactics like flashy clothes or fancy cars. Sure, those things might catch her eye but they won't keep her hooked. If you don't know how to make her feel something deep, you'll always be competing for her attention. You can either be the guy who sparks a fleeting interest, or you can be the one who gets under her skin, the guy she can't stop thinking about. The difference is emotional connection. Confidence, real versus fake. Let's start with one of the most important factors in attraction, confidence. You've heard it a million times, women are attracted to confident men. But here's the catch, fake confidence doesn't count. If you're walking around trying to project confidence by being overly macho or arrogant, women will see right through it. They're incredibly perceptive when it comes to reading a man's true self. Real confidence doesn't come from pretending to be something you're not. It comes from knowing your worth, understanding your strengths, and this is key, not needing validation from others. Women are turned on by a man who doesn't need them to feel whole, a man who is comfortable in his own skin and isn't chasing their approval. That's the kind of confidence that makes women want you. So here's a hard truth. If you're the kind of guy who's constantly fishing for compliments or acting like a tough guy to hide your insecurities, you're shooting yourself in the foot. Women respect and desire a man who is self-assured, not a man who's trying to prove something. Emotional intelligence. Learn to read her like a book. Women crave emotional connection. If you don't know how to read her emotions, you're going to struggle. Emotional intelligence is the ability to be aware of and understand not only your own feelings but also the feelings of others. When it comes to women, this skill is invaluable. You need to learn how to tune into her emotional state and respond in a way that makes her feel understood. But here's the thing. Emotional intelligence doesn't mean being a people pleaser or trying to fix her problems. Women don't want you to fix them, they want you to listen and engage. When a woman feels truly heard and understood, it's a massive turn on. It makes her feel safe, connected and drawn to you on a deeper level. This is where so many guys go wrong, they try to be the knight in shining armor, solving every problem she mentions when all she really wants is for you to say, I get it, that must be tough. If you can master this you'll be leagues ahead of most men. Empathy is seductive because it shows that you're not just focused on yourself, you're genuinely interested in her world. The importance of mystery, keep her guessing. One of the biggest mistakes men make is being too predictable. Women are turned on by mystery, the sense that there's more to you than meets the eye. If she can figure you out in five minutes, her interest is going to fade. Women love a man who has depth, who has layers they can peel back over time. Now, don't misunderstand this. Mystery doesn't mean being secretive or evasive. It means having your own life, your own passions, and not always being available at her beck and call. Let her miss you. Let her wonder what you're up to. If she feels like she already knows everything about you, there's no excitement. On the other hand, when she's curious about what makes you tick, you'll hold her attention longer. Next time, don't text her back right away. Don't always be the first to suggest plans. Be the man who is independent enough to walk away from the table without looking back. This drives women wild because it shows that you have options, and women are always more attracted to men who have options. Challenge her. Stop being a yes man. Listen closely. Women do not respect men who agree with everything they say. If you're the type of guy who nods along to avoid conflict, you're not doing yourself any favors. Women are aroused by men who challenge them, not in a confrontational way, but in a way that shows you have your own mind. 
when you stand up for your beliefs and opinions respectfully but firmly, you show her that you have a backbone. This doesn't mean being a jerk. But it does mean that you need to have the guts to disagree when it matters. If she's used to guys who kiss her ass, the moment you push back on something she says, she's going to take notice. Women want a man who leads, and leadership means sometimes taking the reins and saying, no I don't agree with that. Being a doormat is not sexy. A strong man has convictions. He listens to her, but he doesn't bend over backward to keep her happy. So next time you find yourself agreeing just to stay in her good graces, stop and ask yourself, am I being authentic or am I trying to avoid conflict? Physicality. The subtle art of body language. Body language is one of the most important, yet often overlooked, aspects of attraction. Women are incredibly attuned to nonverbal cues. How you carry yourself speaks volumes before you even open your mouth. You could say all the right things, but if your body language is timid, nervous, or unsure, you're sending the wrong message. Stand tall, make strong eye contact, and occupy space with confidence. When you speak to a woman, don't fidget or look around the room like you're searching for an escape. Focus on her. Let her feel that she's the center of your attention. The way you hold yourself physically is a direct reflection of your inner state. If you're confident on the inside it will show on the outside. Think about this, when you enter a room do you shrink back or do you own the space? Women notice these things immediately. Be aware of how you're presenting yourself. Your body language should say, I'm comfortable in my own skin, without you ever needing to speak a word. Stop being so available. The paradox of desire. Here's a little known fact, the more you chase the less attractive you become. Women are not turned on by a man who's always available, always texting back right away, always saying yes. They want to feel like they're earning your attention, like you're not a given. When you make yourself too available, you kill the excitement. There's no challenge, no thrill, no sense of accomplishment for her. Instead you need to pull back. Don't be at her disposal 24-7. Let her come to you. The paradox of desire is that the less you seem to need her, the more she'll want you. Women want a man who is desired by others, a man who has his own life and isn't waiting around for her. Think about the times you've put a woman on a pedestal, constantly messaging her, trying to win her approval. How did that turn out? Chances are it didn't go well. Next time try something different. Be less available, focus on your own passions, and watch how she suddenly starts to chase you. Awaken her mind before her body. If you want to truly turn a woman on, you need to stimulate her mind before you even think about her body. Seduction starts in the brain. Women are aroused by conversation, by emotional connection, by the feeling that you get them. If you can engage her on an intellectual and emotional level, you've already won half the battle. Don't rush the physical. Build anticipation through conversation. Make her laugh, make her think, make her wonder about you. When a woman feels mentally and emotionally stimulated, the physical desire will follow. But if you try to skip straight to the physical without putting in the work to engage her mind, you're going to fall flat. Take a moment to ask yourself, am I engaging her intellectually and emotionally, or am I just hoping the physical will follow on its own? Now it's time to act. Reading this isn't enough. It's time to do something with what you've learned. Drop a comment below, are you ready to take your game to the next level? Are you going to be the guy who women remember, or are you going to keep making the same mistakes over and over? Don't just consume this content, apply it. The only thing standing between you and success with women is action. So, stop waiting for things to change. Make them change. Women are out there right now, waiting for a man who understands their psychology. Will that man be you?